Welcome to the September 2017 Signage Live product update. We'll be looking at the changes made and new features introduced to Signage Live in this update. We've made some important backend changes that have increased the speed of loading for the player dashboard and player manager areas. So heading into them should be noticeably faster. While we're in the player manager, we can take a look at the changes made across the platform to pagination. You can now select multiple items across any number of pages and they'll remain selected when you change pages within a specific module. You can also use the filter menus to view selected items only. A great tool if you have lots of players, licenses, users or contents to select at any one time. Also in the player manager, we can see that we've also introduced the new player status notifications to show the current status of each player within your signage live network. We've used the familiar traffic light color code seen across the rest of the platform to show this and making it more obvious when a warning or alert could cause an issue with your content being shown. Speaking of which, we've introduced remote screenshots so that you can view the content currently published to your player and to show its current status, such as powered on or off. You can define how frequently these screenshots are captured within the player settings connectivity tab. Once activated, you'll see the remote screenshot now replaces the player icon within the player manager page and on the player status once you've accessed the player's information. Finally, the biggest change within this release is that you can now request license renewals directly from the Signage Live interface. This can be done by any network administrator from either the license page or the player manager, and you can also request multiple licenses at one time. Each request will be sent to Signage Live and our sales team will liaise with your reseller partner before the license is automatically applied to your network. If you have any questions about any of the changes made in this update, be sure to check out the Help Centre or speak with our team.